We are radical friends, and we're in downtown Los Angeles in the midst of uh, this kind of apocalyptic, dark city of science, science fiction, Mayan super city. It's the elastic paradise that we live in the middle of. It's kind of like this forced isolation through technology. It affects the way we visualize the world and, and the script we've been writing for our first film. Like, I feel like everything is a combination of nature and technology and that's where things are headed. And we like to capture that and mythologize the moment in which nature becomes technology and technology becomes nature. And drawing on that duality, that's something we see is this possible future for humanity and seeing that technology all around us. We, we want to create the mythology of the moment of singularity. Ryan Tricardin is a video artist and when we first encountered his work we were kind of blown away because it's, it, it challenges your idea of what is art and what is not art and you know, seeing it on YouTube to begin with it kind of felt like it belonged on YouTube and it didn't feel too dissimilar from the other things on YouTube but then seeing it in an installation context in these corporate boardrooms and kind of put it in context and it became this thing where you know you really question what 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 its meaning is. And, and to us Ryan Trickarton's work is avant-garde because it makes you question is this art or is this some kind of YouTube reality TV cable television on diet pills, amphetamine fueled characters that are thrown together. Ryan Chicarton's work feels like children playing the roles of CEOs, business owners, and trannies, and it becomes this kind of psychedelic wash strange, almost demonic characters, and it's, it's kind of nauseating to watch these characters happen. Scenes out of normal life and creates dialogue that, that is actually normal if you were to transcribe it, but putting on makeup and putting his characters in these very oversaturated, stylized environments filled with objects that seem out of place, suddenly the dialogue takes on a different form and you understand how absurd it is to talk about. It, it feels like the characters in his, in his videos are confused about their identity, uh, being influenced by oversaturation of media. Being avant-garde to us is challenging for any human to compartmentalize and try to categorize it in the ground. Anything that comes through and makes you question the reality of what your surroundings are. That makes you uncomfortable when you watch it. To us, that, that's avant-garde.